Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. My name is Yawa Simpiza Cherry and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Today's video is very special. Um, it is special because this is a topic that I've always wanted to talk about. Ever since we started Ashko Factories two years ago, I've always wanted to, you know, put up a video, you know, explaining and say, letting you know the cost involved in putting up such a factory because I see a lot of people having a lot of interest in the subject. Okay, so I have been having these inquiries and I've always um, wanted to make it make it a video rather than answer individual, you know, uh, answer you individually. So if, you, if I have this video here, if you have this video here, anytime anybody wants this kind of information, the it will be available for for them they won't even have to you know reach out or unless they need specific information all right so um one of my subscribers um asked few questions that i i feel like they are very tailored you know concerning this subject of um the cost of building or putting up such a factory a maize drying factory and I feel like I want to answer the questions here. There are some of the questions I won't be able to answer them here because uh, they are um, specific in nature. All right. So for those so for for those ones, I won't you know answer them. But if you hit me up in my DM, um, I'll give you the right the right direction or the right answers to those questions. So the first question. Um, this person wanted to know is that how much does it cost to for the maize drying factory like your type in other words what is the cost of my or our maize drying factory now to answer this question this is one of the questions that are specific and the answers might not come straightforward because we we built ours like two years ago and for that reason, things have increased. Prices of building of those materials have increased. And moreover, we are not the builders of, you know, the, 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 the equipment. Okay. We consulted an engineer who built it for us. Right. And the good thing is that these, these people are in Ghana. They are right here in Ghana. You don't have to import um any such t any 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 parts any of the parts all right they are all made here in ghana so that is it for that um and the second one is what is the size of the drying bed okay now if we look at our if you look at our 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 um our setup okay it is 16 by 15 feet if you look at the area it covers 16 by 15 feet okay so that is the area, the space that it, it, it covers, all right? And if you look at the nature of it, we have one side, we have two sides, okay? So this side, you know, you know, takes some of the load. This side also takes some of the load. So you realize that it's not a flat bed. It's a um, two-sided two -sided bed. Um, so that is the nature of it. And the area, the total area is 15, 15 feet by 16 feet. All right, that is the total area. And if you look at how the the length from down to the top of, of it too, is also 15 feet. All right, so um, I, I, I feel like that is it for that. And the third question is, how long does it take to dry a full drying bed? Yes, how long does it take to dry a full drying bed? Um, this is what it means. Anytime we load the bed, anytime we load the full bed with maize, how long does it take for that, you know, um, quantity of maize to be dried? I think that is what the question is about. How long does it take? All right, to answer that, it takes like, it depends on the moisture content of the maize that we are coming to dry. Okay, so some of there are, there are times that you find maize that is very wet. You can have maize of up to 36% moisture. 
36% moisture content. Okay, in such situations, it takes up to seven hours to dry. Okay, so it will determine, it will depend on the moisture content of the maize that we are drying. That will determine how long it will take to dry. Okay, because there are standards. We are drying to a specific standard. We are drying to 12 or 12.5 percent moisture. Okay, so if it is, if it it, it came in as 36 percent, 30 percent, 28 percent, it is going. It is going. Obviously, it is going to take longer. You know, a longer period of time to dry than if it came in at 16. 17 15 percent all right so that is it for that but um to to be specific with the answer it takes uh let's say four to seven hours four to seven hours to dry a batch depending once again on the moisture of the maize that came all right so the next question is in a day how many kilograms or tons of maize can the dryer factory process all right, so um, the understanding I'm getting from this question is that in a day, you know, how many bags of maize can we process? Okay, and to answer this, so if you take, if you take the worst case, all right, of, um, of seven hours, for a drying, for a drying uh, time, seven hours of a drying time. That's like the worst case. Okay, so you have seven hours only for the drying. Mind you, we are also going to clean the maze, clean and load, cleaning and loading onto the bed. Let's say that takes worst case one hour, and then after drying two, you take like thirty minutes to offload. You know to offload and 30 minutes to, to package okay so you have like two plus seven that's like nine hours for a batch okay what this means is that if we are if we want to do day and night then we can do two badges okay if you want to do day and night or you know morning shift and evening shift then we can do two, which will be like 18 hours. Of course, uh, we we they'll, they'll be we will have to rest. Uh, uh, right, we will have to rest unless uh, you have staff that you have enough staff or enough workers that you can put on rotation. Okay, so that is it for this. So let's say you need nine hours to produce a badge, and then you do two uh, two badges in a in a day. Okay, now let's break it down into the kilogram, the kilogram, the kilos, kilos of maize that are produced. If you do two batches, now one batch, you are supposed to get eighty. You are supposed to get eighty of the fifty kgs. Okay, that's like four thousand kg kilos. Yes, yeah, so that's like four thousand kilos. Of maize a day. All right. So that is that is it for that question. Okay. So then the next question is, how long did it take, you know, for the engineer or the manufacturer to install the dryer? Hmm. All right. So this is um direct. This is a direct question, and the answer is supposed to be direct. I guess. So, let's say two months, roughly two months, okay, if you are able to take care of your part, I'm talking about uh, my experience with, with the engineer, okay, if you're able to take care of your part of, you know, of, of the transaction, his or DS should take within two months, if you have your structure in place if you have your warehouse or your structure in place um 
within two months it will be constructed because it's not only installation because you are going to tell them the type you want the design you want the size you want you know it is it is it is it's, it's not like they have they have this um uh how, how do i say it it's not like they have a specific standard or prefabricated parts you know it is it it, it will all depend on the, the the type that you want and the measurement that you want okay yes so that is that is how come it will take two hours uh, two months okay for the installation to be done from production to installation to be done all right so the next question is how about the business how about the business um there's some uh part of the question that i think it, it came direct to me so but but basically it is about the question per my understanding is about the business of maze drying how is it okay so the the business of maze drying i must say is good this is because there are no much maze dry maze drying centers in the country i know specific few places in the country that they've been calling they've been calling time and time again that they want their maze to be dried they want their maze to be dried but if you look at their distance and where we are in Techumai, it doesn't make economic sense that they will bring the, their, their goods all the way to Techumai. So the bottom line is that since they are few, so far they are few in the system, it makes the, the business is good. You are going to get a lot of maize to dry if you should go into maize drying business. All right, so that is it for, for that. And the last question is how many people do I need to employ? To operate the factory. Wow. The issue of labor. If you want to go into maize drying business, you will need casual laborers, laborers, a lot of them, a lot of casual laborers. Like let's say five or six. Five or six. Yes, let's say six casual laborers. And if you are there in person, if you are at the factory, always at the factory in person, then your job is likely to be um to, to, to be okay, you know, than if you are not there and you have to you know uh, delegate everything to these workers, which I don't recommend. Okay, so you need like six casual workers because the work is um is seasonal right you realize that during this time that you're watching this this time that i'm making this video in april you don't need maze drives you don't need maze drying machines unless you are doing cleaning you want to use the cleaning aspect of the maze um the maze uh, of the dryer okay then you you can clean your grains but for the drying aspect as of now all the almost all the maze in the system is dried okay the drying period starts from july okay the crop the first crop that that is harvested in july all right july to september to like um november december yes that is when you get wet maize in the system that will require drying or mechanical drying okay so that is it for that okay now let me talk about one other thing Okay, you realize that if you want to take the the first question, which I said, um, I will have to speak with the 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 the, the, um, the engineers. Okay, now that is just one aspect of it, of the cost. That's just one aspect of the cost because you need a land. You need your building. Okay, you also need electricity connection. These are three things that you know uh, you should consider even before you you look for the machine and the cost of the machine. Okay, so if you are secured, if you, you your land is secured, you have a space um, that is secured for you, then you are good to go on that level. If you have a structure already, you are good to go. 
and as for the electricity there you don't have electricity already because this is a three phase uh, meter a three phase uh, meter that you will need to run this factory all right um i don't know if i have left out anything if i have and if there is there's more that you need to know about the maize drying business and the maize um, factory setting up a maize drying factory leave a comment below and get um get dm me some way somehow and as much as possible the information that i have that i can give you i'll give you thank you very much for watching um today's video please share it like the video and share it all right and until we meet in the next one remember my name is Yawa Simplicity and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. If you need maize, and I'm speaking to poultry farmers, I'm speaking to animal feed produ producers in Ghana, We this is the, the biggest hub in Ghana. Pick up our numbers, talk to us, let's get these commodities, let's get these grains supplied to you. High quality, highest of quality. We don't compromise on quality, all right? So um, get in touch and let's talk. Until we meet in the next one, it's bye-bye for now.